Hello everybody, welcome to uh, Dream War vs. Gadenic, the replay. Uh, we started with a quick snap, which meant that Gadenic went away from the LOS. Um, this is a replay, so it'll be pretty quick. Um, and in the booth with me is Purple Chest and K4. Hello, hello, hello. Goody. Slus. This then, uh, the last of the Wood Elves existing in this uh, season's Chalice. Uh, not a bad Wood Elf team, though. We've got uh, two Agility 6 pieces, one of which is also plus move. That's a catcher, I believe, so it's uh, incredibly fast. And the other Agility 6 is a War Dancer. So it goes where it wants, and it doesn't have to say please. And he's going to duck her. This is, yes, a withdrawn offence we're seeing here. Um, I said just before the stream started, of course, that... Uh, it was an interesting pair of setups. The Kemri setting up with a brawl of five, but very deep, seeding the sidelines in case the Wood Elves wanted a quick score, and uh, and then splitting those two guardians to ensure that the tree cannot tag all three. The Wood Elves replied to that with a sort of anti-blitz setup, uh, despite the deepness of the Kemri, meaning a blitz wasn't that big a worry, and uh, and they've buggered off, Jim. Yeah, it, oh, this is always a bit risky at nil nil, isn't it? And versus a wizard. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I can see why. It's basically with the Kemri so deep. Yeah, with the Kemri so deep. They're, they're not coming anywhere near these uh, elves for quite a long time. Mm. I mean, they are rowdy, aren't they? Two tackle mighty blowers. Oh. Dirty player. Uh, what's it called? Induced dirty player. Yeah, um, I did see long, long on bench, so they're not going to mind fouling that tree, I'd have thought. Um, the elves, of course, the exact opposite. Not a huge bench, despite the uh, beautifulness of the elves on the pitch. Yeah, and with 86, you just need to be in scoring when you yeah. pretty much score, so you have all the time in the world. Yeah, that's but fair. You can, <laughs> you can catch that on a two in two tackle zones. You can dodge through tackle zones on twos. I mean, you can do all sorts of wonderful cheaty things with AG6. Yeah. And we did earlier see what happens to 14 potentially Wood Elves if they get, get into a tackle pub in the gym. Yeah, I, I, I really don't. People think I'm going to. I don't hate the withdrawn offense here. I think it's, um, it's a, as we said, particularly with the deep Kemri, uh, it does mean it's going to be ages before there are any threat to any of these elves. Um, mm. And Kemri, you know, do have a lot of slow pieces. There is some rowdy Kemri. If they don't come forward in really good order or just organize themselves centrally in really good order, um, then it's going to be really easy to find some space and get those incredibly fast pieces around the side and into the backfield. Was a gym foul there, wasn't there? The double two, he got. To, <laughs> he, you had to use his bribe to not get sent off, so he didn't even break AV. Brutal. Well, I don't think Nick's gonna mind this. You know? No, that's why we cut the tree. Yeah, there we are. Another one sent off. So now we're already down to ten, Kemri. Already <laughs> creating some gaps, for Nick, to uh, to exploit if and when he chooses to come forward. Yeah. Some trees die. Some trees stay alive. <laughs> Bitterness isn't, isn't a becoming look, Cor. Cool. <laughs> it's fine. It is funny, though. Oh my it's god, he fell twice, got caught on both of them, so he sent off bribe gun, he didn't even break AV once. Yeah. That is unbelievable. I said, uh, yeah, it was snakes the second time. <laughs> and I don't think this tree's even going to try and stand up, is it? No. It's it's quite happy it seems to work better. It's quite happy now. to just destroy the Kemri team by being found. <laughs> Oh, oh. oh, this time it is injured. The non-DP kills it. <laughs> I just missed what that was, Jim. Is it a is it a serious injury? It was a it was a minus AV. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> just no one's told it yet. Wow. Oh, wow, he's he had two he had two Merc DPs. Holy shit. He was down loads of TV. So he's got a wizard, a bribe, and two Merc DPs. That is a lot, he's isn't really, it? He's yeah. really low on team value. I mean, this this Kemri does have a few nice bangy pieces, as you said, but if you look at the Tomb Guardians, they are trash, Jim. Yeah, they are. Yeah. He's got a nice full roster. He's got a couple of nice field pieces for the backfield. I mean, I say they're trash. You know, yeah, they're trash. They're trash, but they, they're good enough, right? They, they yeah, three have got guard, more. two have got mighty blow, one's a rookie completely. I, you know, you'd love to see a couple of stand firms in there, and um, for the rookie to have at least guard on it. 
Um, that would make them adequate. They are just a tiny bit subpar with that rookie and with no stand firm, with no doubles across them. But there's still things they can do, and they are incredibly TV efficient. Uh, let's give them that. Mm. And of course, the uh, the withdrawn offense not so strong against a line of strength five. Very mm. hard for the elves to break through it. And hence this Kemri man choosing to keep his four rowdy tacklers all uh, on the midway point. Yeah, Obviously the elves can get around the Tomb Guardian screen. It looks like they are trying to take one down, and possibly even advance the ball up a side right this early. Yeah, quite like they turn five. That's yeah, it's about fine. When you want to do it, isn't it? A good a lot of commitment here. before the hit, but uh, yeah, gets the pow. Lots of dice that were good there, and one of them did come up. Mm. Oh, he's not pushing. No, I was going to say this is a sort of semi commitment. Oh, I don't like that. I, don't, I like pushing. Yeah, me too. I'm never that happy with a semi. <laughs> no, not very satisfying, is it? Like and the problem here is the two that he has advanced uh, can get monstered by the four tackle pieces. Yeah. He's going to have to be careful, though, because the speed of these elves means they can swap to the other side in a heartbeat. That is true, yeah. That is true. So I think this might be a bit of a rope -a dope trying to push, pull him in onto this bow advance. If you look at the two pieces that have gone forward, they're not that good. No. They're pieces he won't mind leaving behind if needs be. And sure enough, that's pulled two of the tacklers right across in front of them. Oh yeah, I hate that. I fucking hate that. <laughs> I think the rope of dope looks to have worked here, Jim. Yeah, I think that is not what the not the correct way to respond to this push. No, look at the amount of commitment over on that side of the field already now. Oh, oh and yeah. He's got to leave those other pieces where they are, pretty much, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah, okay, he's kept one of his rowdy tacklers in the midfield, but... There is a, a bit of a gaping two-plussing hole, which he's started to exploit. Yeah. And if he takes this one Tomb Guardian down, which it looks like that's his plan, then uh, it does become a, a void. A double one, though. <laughs> and that is the point where even a single guard could have made this so much easier. Um, he's created a bit of a hole, but it's a bit of a wiggly way through, isn't it? He's not going to get his full movement out. I mean, he doesn't have to, though, right? He's so fast. No. This player's Look so at the fast. speed of this monstrous team. <laughs> oh, what else? I do despise them so. <laughs> Don't we all? Oh, hello, Grimmers. Thanks very much. Not really. <laughs> Not everybody would agree. <laughs> Hashtag no hate. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you for reminding me of that. That never stops being funny. <laughs> I think it's the funniest thing that's happened since I, since I've been in a blood bowl. But look at look at the turn. Does Kadena ignore what turn it is? This was the problem with like okay, you can reverse, but. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to get forward now, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, he's going to have to hand off or pass and shoot yeah. by here. If only he had a move ten piece. Oh, okay, he's got a move. He's, yeah, he's got a move nine guy, okay. But he's still going to have people in front of him. Like, I quite like that Dreamor has kept these guys back and these guys yep. forward. It's yep. pretty decent. And because that, I mean, I didn't like, I thought he overcommitted to the, the right hand side of the elves. Yeah. Um, but because Gdanik didn't seem to take as much advantage of that as I thought he could, uh, I, he's managed to get enough pieces back that this this is still a huge problem. Mm. I, I know he wanted to take that Tomb Guardian down, but it was such a commitment, left so many pieces stranded a bit. What I Maybe just a string of two pluses through that gap that was left there yeah. uh, could have advanced him a lot further up the field. Fuck off, Jimmy. Oh, yep, there's the move 10. Well, not move, move, not move 10, move 90. But he's only just in scoring range. Yep. 
Oh, there's dubs. There's quads! Quads. <laughs> now, uh, that's also, he's got to throw the apo at that, doesn't he? Yes, he does. It's fine. Was he going to GFI with all these assholes? Because if he wasn't, he should have just moved them first, shouldn't he? Yeah. I think he had to, because this is still only one scoring threat, and without some other GFIs, there wasn't going to be anything else. Um, but, I mean, quads is always unlucky, Jim. It, it's hard to plan on quads. Ah, this this guy was going to cut the corner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he was going to go up there and cut the corner. Yeah. So yeah. that's why I guess he did the blitz first. But he could have still moved the ball forward. He could still brought the ball forwards, yes, absolutely. Now, all he needs to do, doesn't need to take the ball off him, just needs to uh, take this scoring thread down, which he... It kills him! He has taken it down, hasn't he? He's taken what a team it down. Today. Down to hell. <laughs> good good elf and trees dying left and right. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now, I believe I mentioned the uh, the absence of much of a bench for these wood elves. <laughs> I wonder if that's going to be a factor. Oh my god. Now it's whether he can count the score, right? Yes, I mean, he's he, absolutely, uh, probably not. The elves just run away, don't they? But he has at least completely nullified any threat of the elves scoring. So now you just put as much pressure on them or you kill as many as you want. Yeah, I... I I know he's now got... Oh, he's using all six hits on that elf. Okay, fine. But it's a it's a dodge piece, and he's hitting without block even. I probably would have put the Tomb Guardian in first somewhere, just creating another one in 36 chance. Yeah, maybe. But, yeah, this is fine, isn't it? There's, there's, he's, look, he's not even in range. They're so slow. Yeah. Wow, that was devastating, wasn't it? So, yeah, Apple used on the dancer that quadded. And then that guy got killed. Holy! Well, Nick's team looks worse. They're, there's no debate between Nick's team and K Fog's team now. <laughs> well, except that K Fog is his entire team's dead because he's out of the chalice. Well, yes, but you know, people watching might not know that. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, because you separate the cast. This we've done three games, and you separate them on YouTube. Yeah, but it's okay. Toxic of me there. I did forget. <laughs> Yeah, the Daka not work. I mean, to be fair, not nothing's going to work when you quad skull, right? That's not a weakness of the Daka. That was just quad skulling. If if you quad skull before you move in range, it doesn't matter what you. Yeah, do. no, Ken Roth. I mean, as I said at the start, I thought the withdrawn offence was the right option here. I think he, the mistakes wasn't the withdrawn offence. I think when he tried to push down the right, either he needed to fully commit to that and really push hard up that that flank, or if it was a fake push, which it did look like it was. Then the swap to the other side had to be committed to much harder. I think taking that Tomb Guardian out on the way was problematic, didn't allow him to move forwards enough. And then he compounded that error by you know, moving one scoring threat in and then going for that hit. The quads was incredibly unlucky. Yeah. But as Jim said, he could have mitigated it slightly by moving the elves that weren't going to either go for it or cut that corner he was moving uh, up into position first. So, I, I'm not saying this is against the withdrawn offence. I think that part of it was the right choice. I think there were some not ideal choices in the later turns. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing. I, it was turn five, I thought he had to get moving, and the fact that he just yeah. moved laterally, entirely laterally on turn six, instead of getting... Yeah, like if he got, as you say, yeah, if he got four on the diagonal on turn six, yeah. it's not so bad. Exactly. He really left himself a lot to do. No, it did. It did require a lot of two pluses, but with dodge on all of them, you know, that's sort of fine. And the quick piece that went round the back didn't even need to dodge, so there were some other options, and there was a lot more space to be grabbed uh, by moving diagonally rather than, as you said, laterally. Mm. I think and taking out the two guardian just wasn't a sensible plan. No. And then those little errors compound into bigger errors later. It was still a quads, as someone has put into. Yeah, as Squirrel Dude said, it was still quads. And quads, you can't, you can't mitigate for. Had the quads not happened, there was still a decent position that he could have reached, with a few little two pluses. Yeah. Um, so even then, things were sort of okay yeah. until the quads. Yeah. But he but... did leave himself liable to a bad dice there. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, if you got the re-roll, you think, well, I'll re-roll doubles. But you, you, you know, you don't think that you'll roll quads, right? Whereas, no. if if you haven't got rerolls, you think if I double skulls here, this will be terrible. So you play around the dub skulls when you've got a reroll, which is fair. But then you don't play around the quads when you've got a reroll. But you know, 
you, you, sometimes it should, right? Well, in fact, you always should if you're not losing anything. Like, so it is technically correct, isn't it? Like, it's definitely yeah. technically correct to play around the quads. It's just people don't. No, no one really does. No. Now, a perfect defense here, allowing a side swap away from um, some of the Tomb Guardians, allowing some pieces to come right up onto the line of scrimmage or very, very near it. A deep That's kick, London, meaning that Nick can try and cut these two guardians off from where the ball's being collected. Uh, but some good play here from uh, Drymark, moving really a load of skeletons back to ensure that this pickup is uh, is nice and safe and there's lots of pieces to protect it oh, if these this. elves do come rowdy. I hate this play. I hate this play, actually. I hate it because... Do you, Jim? Yeah. All he needs to do is successfully drive home, he wins. Yeah, but this play is, is just is just you're inviting them onto you, guaranteed. They're just guaranteed surrounding you now. Like after the perfect defence, they're coming anyway. So yeah, but at, at least the, here we we built a fort. Yeah, but you could have built that fort like six squares forward, and then the other two aren't out of the game. It is maybe a little overcautious. I'll, I'll grant you that. But so many times we see the opposite that people you know actually advance and blitz forwards. Uh, and then perhaps keep two pieces back to keep the ball safe against a team with this much agility and movement. Oh, just one. I think recently saw so somebody that keep putting all his dwarfs on the line. See people put all the dwarfs on line and just having run up to fix yeah. everything in the backfield. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's times I do do that, but not against huge responsive teams. In the, in the chalice here after the perfect defence, like there, there is the, the you know I think, I mean at least he seems to have got away with it, but I, I don't know. I just I, I would have preferred to have them all of the team, you know, about four squares further forward. Again, for reasons I'm not entirely clear on, Nick's tried to knock these tomb guardians over before. Just now, as he is, you know, trying to cut them off from the rest of the team, which I mean, shouldn't we have just done that from the start? Yeah. <laughs> now we've left our Agility 6 War Dancer to at least get hit with a mighty blow. I know it's a 1 in 3 to take it down because it's a blodge piece and there's no block even on the Tomb Guardian, but it's it's a risk with his one remaining awesome piece. Mm. And it's a risk in a direction it doesn't need to be. That needs to be monstering where the ball is. Yep. Yeah, I think we'll do Claw on Tuesday, Steve Marty, seeing as nobody was going to do the commentary. Well, no one said they'd do the commentary and... Uh... You know, the, the K Fox match was on and these matches were on, so just do claw. Yeah, there were two live ones in a row. Uh, and this one just looked at a sexy little third one to add on the end, didn't it? Yeah. We'll do we'll do claw tomorrow and call it Monday night claw and no one will ever know. <laughs> Nobody will ever know it was on Tuesday. <laughs> I mean, the Ad 6 fear is real, yeah, that, to be fair. Yeah. And he's popping the cheeky little foul in. Who wouldn't at this point? But yeah. uh, just a stun. Well, there is the Ad 6. And he's armor 6. And he's stunned. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why we hit the Tomb Guardian. I certainly don't know why we stayed on it. No, oh. He's rolled a 1. He's in. He's got guard on the ball. Yeah, but the edge six is stunned and miles away. He's hitting the rest of Okay. Yeah, because we did leave the back door open in a strange and completely unacceptable way. <laughs> yeah. Leaving a very easy two die. In fact, he was lucky that the one popped and the reroll was needed before this ball popped out the side. Yeah. Oh! Oh, dodge. big, the big fail way. there. Yeah, even the long way around. It was, so it was, a, it was a double one, it wasn't... You know, he could have gone like 3-3-2, three, three, right? He could have tried. Yeah, if he, popped yep. no, he was trying to go the safe way. Yeah. And it just didn't work for him. I think the Camry could think of themselves as very, very lucky there. In, in seeming total domination, they left the ball weirdly exposed. And have so far not been full punished. Of course, they haven't recovered it yet. Oh, well, that's yes, a This stream race is the, the shitty car version of Marvel, so. <laughs> you can't free the thrower. Is, is he got under the thrower? Is this a thrower? Yeah. Okay. 
he hasn't got a dirty plate to foul the uh, foul the dancer, has he? That's oh, right. The cast, though. Dancers are very busy failing everything as it is. <laughs> yeah. This is this is a quite a nice little formation he's made there, isn't it? Oh, dub scrolls. Yeah, you wouldn't choose it to be that near the sideline. You'd choose it to be at least one square in, but sometimes you can't choose. Um, at least there's some safety there, some numbers around, and just so few elves left already that hard to see they'll come for that. Yeah, not this turn. He's got to hit the and two with the guard again. <laughs> yep. and with the guard, I know there's no guard on that uh, eye cage. But with the Tomb Guardian 2 to the left with its guard, of course, the only successful places to hit it are from the sideline. Yeah. Oh, well demonstrated with your mousing there, Jim. Thanks. It's like you knew what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. He's a pro streamer after all. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's it. I was thinking about the, like, the, the dancer. He couldn't really get there, could he? That was the problem with him being pro. And he, you know, with, with this guy in the way, it wasn't. No, the dancer hasn't been able to get there since the very start of this drive, Jim, and all of that, I think, was down to hitting that Tomb Guardian. Yeah. And then staying on it afterwards, which I called as not great. Uh, turned out it wasn't. However, we've got uh, the same situation as the Dark Elves in the last game. We've got what elves we have got available back in front of the drive, which is where you'd want them to be. Yeah. Uh, I know they face a wizard, uh, and I know there aren't very many of them. But they are still elves, and one of them's AG6, so yeah. that's got to still be a concern at all times. Yeah. Yeah, this isn't this isn't nice for Dreamor, is it? This isn't nice at all. Um, it's obviously it's about as good as you could have possibly hoped for. Nil nil, wizard in hand. Oh yeah, come on. I mean, as you say, it's <laughs> not nice. For him. It's field. a dream situation compared to how he must have looked at this game. Yeah. But it's, Plenty it's of elves good. gone already. The tree disappeared, which was you know, a minor worry. Oh, he hasn't closed the cage before he's fouled. What the oh. fuck? Well, it worked out so well last time. How'd you not close the cage first? He killed him. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> he's dead, Jim. But how'd you just not close the cage first? Were you going to close it afterwards? It. Ah, closed cages are for the weak. How can you kill all the elves if you don't invite them into the middle of your cage? Nah, Nick, Nick wisely not falling for that. I mean, you say it's not co co closed because there's uh, no guard left alive on the elf team. The um, the tomb guardian just in front is kind of closed it. Yeah, but you not can get in, but it's going to be red dice. I mean, what else is Nick going to do? I guess one turn. Like all he's got is yeah. one turn. So he's just yeah. gonna wait in one turn. Yeah, just okay. needs a single push to get that uh, that catcher in range, doesn't he? Well, the dead one. Oh, sorry, no, it's a it's a dancer, isn't it? So nine, ten, side step. He does need quite a few pushes. Does he, does he have anything like enough elves to get it in range? <laughs> no. <laughs> it surely doesn't. No, so you might as well go for an uphill when it's the only fucking chance you've got. I would think he should have gone for it. His alternative is to wait and lose later. Well, I mean, having said that, there's been a lot of open cages so far. Yeah, true. True. However, at this point, this he surely can't leave it open again. <laughs> or, for example, leave it based or anything like that. This is going to not be as... He's definitely three-dicing with the top yeah, of my... Yeah, dicing him, is But he is sidestep, so... It'll probably all be fine, Jim. He needs to power him. Oh, he's yeah, look, he's, no, he's going to close the, close the gap. Yeah. He's not going to close the back door of the cage, but he is going to close the gap, which means this sidestep won't be basing the ball. Now he can close the cage. Not foul, him, just close the cage. Yeah. He, he definitely didn't need to do that beforehand. <laughs> Yeah, that is an interesting point, Impetuous Lad. Um, you know, a couple of these Tomb Guardians are a bit separated from the drive. Uh, but there just aren't enough elves to put one in the middle, which means they're going to stay there. They can, they can reunite with it fairly easily. Yeah. It is turn 14, so while the temptation is to just blitz this lineman and go centre, 
I mean, that's definitely what you're going to do. There's only going to be two turns after that, though. But, I mean, there's no other player but to blitz this lineman, is there? I don't think. That's the pow. Yeah, so do I, pretty much. <laughs> Both using them and playing against them. <laughs> I guess he's going to see a foul here. Yeah. He has amazingly allowed a 1B on the ball, though, hasn't he? With three guard players. He's managed to get the uh, ball into a... He's managed to find a situation where there's an easy 1B on the ball. So there um, you go. Yes. Yes, that's... Yes. <laughs> that has happened, yeah. I mean, you say easy, he just needed to stand an elf up. <laughs> yeah. uh. Oh! Oh! And Bull punished for thinking that that could in any way be a mistake. Mm -hmm. um, what we've seen the Kemri do very skillfully this game <laughs> is show just enough of a chance to the Elves to sucker them all in to the point where they can then get killed. Yeah, genius play, really. Oh, I like blitzing the, the uh, blitz him. No, no, not him. Bl blitz the dancer. Blitz the blitz ah, the you can kill that one later, Jim. There's no later. This is turn 15. You know, I, I think you make a nice safe cage, don't you? And then blitz the dancer. Oh, I tell you what you could do, Jim. You could always wizard it. Yeah, you could, yeah. You could always just pop a big old lightning bolt up its bum. <laughs> it does have AV6, as I believe you've pointed out before. Yeah. Um, that should be quite good to a lightning bolt. Yeah. Right. Could have done that first, though, right? If you're not going like, to blitz him, I think bolt him and foul him is good. But well, think... bolt him at the start of the turn because also on a you know on a one it doesn't hit him at all, and then perhaps blitzing him would have been sensible. Yes. Yeah, I think you've got to blitz him because again he can just easily get a one D on the ball here. Yep. He had to use his guards to need to make this uphills. Well, I, I, I mean, I'm going to say yes to that, <laughs> um, but he hasn't done a lot of that so far, and it's been fine. Yeah. Doesn't use the words, keeps it dry just in case. So again, a very easy one die chance here. And against Camry, you've got to think that's a reasonable odds that it doesn't uh, doesn't pick it up. Gets it. Still with the reroll. No. Nope. Oh, two both downs. It's now your ball, and you don't even need a bit in here. He's got I, mean, I think I think I, I don't think Gudenic played the first half very well. I, I liked the withdrawn offense. I'd have done the same. I don't think he came out of that shape very effectively in the second half of the first half. I think he's played fine with what he's had available this half. I think it's been pretty good. He's looked for the chances. They've been there. He's gone straight for them. So that he had options afterwards to do something if the ball did pop, but it hasn't. The Kemri uh, have not played ideally I think I think that's probably fair I mean, he's put some nice assists in on his fouls and he's you know created some options to make the things that he needed dead and he has got his score in but he, he certainly left that too open a lot of times didn't he Jim yeah I think he definitely did I mean to be fair the ball is fine right it's fine not bolting because you do only fail to score on a 1 in 12 9 6 pretty much I don't know it's yeah. 1 in 81 to not score um, and then if there's a riot and Nick makes it 1-1, you've got the bolt for overtime. So it's Oh, at this fair. point, I wouldn't have bolted. I would have bolted the turn before, though, to take the AG6 down. Because it was yeah. the only real threat. Yeah. Um, but in, turn, in that turn 60, absolutely no need, because in case there's a riot, then it, it does give you the chance to, to knock something over that you might want to. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think, yeah, Bolt, uh, he had to hit that at, at six, and he had to get, he had to get guards around his cage, it was, yeah, I think, I well, think... One or the other, Jim, but certainly not neither. <laughs> yeah. Yes. yeah! Yeah, I mean, personally, I'd have done both. I'd have wizarded at the start of turn 15 to try and kill that AG6. If I hadn't at least stunned it, I'd have been looking to foul it. If I, it had been a one and I'd failed with the bolt, I'd have been looking to blitz it. Um, it was my major threat. And then everything else that turn should have been about either building an H cage or a Venga bus cage or something that meant one die to anything that did get in wasn't possible. Yeah. So, not only is the, the one turn impossible anyway, um, but <laughs> just because Nuffle hates hope. <laughs> uh, it's a blitz for the Camry. Yeah. So, a chance to generate some more SPP. So yeah, and you know, and Dreamo might have had, like, playoff nerves or whatever, I don't know if this is his first time in the playoffs or whatever, so maybe... No, maybe, I don't know. Maybe he was a bit... Uh, you know, and he's, he was down a hell of a lot of TV, wasn't he? So maybe... He really know, was. Um, I didn't hate his plan. I don't hate what he induced. You know, a couple of dirty players because the elves were short on the line on the uh, on the bench. Um, he did have the tackle pieces to knock them over. Uh, he was never just going to be able to hold everything firm with the Tomb Guardians. Mm. But sort of ignoring that they had guard entirely didn't seem that sensible. Uh, let's hope he learns from that. But um, his inducement strategy was strong. Mm. Nick was desperately unlucky to win in 12 9 6. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But that still doesn't mean that. I mean, he played fine, and if that hadn't happened, like I said, he would still have got into range, still have had really good odds of getting the score home. But the two turns before, we didn't think were that strong comparative yeah. to how Nick can play. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And my goodness, that's all full wood elves smashed out in the first round. Wow. Unbelievable. Wow, that really is a shock, isn't it, in a tournament format? Yeah, you wouldn't it really have, is. You've got a lot of odds that that happened. I know the other two weren't that brilliant as, as Wood Elf teams, but they did look between the four of them to be, ooh, I mean, at least three winnable games. Um, it wouldn't have shocked me to see Bree go through, even all four. Yeah, no, I'm I mean, a lot more surprised than none have. Yeah, and it's especially Gadernik and, and Cole, mm. right? They're, they're both mm. incredible coaches with incredible yep. teams. Absolutely. <laughs> Tier 1 coaches with fantastic Wood Elf teams. Yeah. It's true though, isn't it's, it? It's true. It's just, yeah, it's just not enough in, uh, <laughs> in Blood Bowl always. <laughs> Certainly not, no. Just no, like the well, Shawnee I mean, team the previous season. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, yeah, crazy how uh, these like, top, top uh, coaches with top, top teams can just get dumpstered out of the first round. We, we should, of course, be using the past tense that had top, top teams. Yes. Uh, oh. Even if they choose to keep them for the Open League, and, and perhaps they will. Um, very little left of either of those Wood Elf teams. Yeah, brutal. MVP, the dead guy. <laughs> Classic. Well, never let it be said that Nuffle doesn't have a sense of humour. <laughs> yep. Well, there you go. What a match that was. Thank you very much, Purple Chest, and thank you very much, Core. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.